guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the BH Ultimate Matte 42 color eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited for this video because I've had this palette. I think it came in PR like a month ago and I had so much stuff going on with like the holidays and I had a ton of things I wanted to wrap up and videos I wanted to get out to you guys. So I didn't have a chance to do this so it's been sitting there calling my name and I didn't use it I thought about it I was like well maybe I'll just use it for a while and then I'll do it as a review but I kind of wanted to like experience it with you guys and especially because it's an all matte palette which is not something that I'm comfortable with so I kind of wanted to see what I could come up with um, and step outside of my comfort zone with you so that's what we did today um, I do want to kind of talk a little bit about the palette. It's $24 and there's 42 matte colors. There is no shimmer in this palette whatsoever. It says the richly pigmented formula in vivid bright, soft pastels and versatile neutrals is buildable, blendable, whether you prefer a soft wash uh, on the lids or lined, defined eyes for depth and dimension. So basically you can build these colors up and make them as smoky or as, you know, simple and like no makeup makeup look as you want. As you can see, I created like the most smoky eye. <laughs> um, well actually it's not the most smoky eye. I guess it could have gone smokier, but this is like pretty smoky for me. And I really just love it. I was not sure. Like, I was not sure that I was going to love all matte, but I'm I'm in it, I'm living. I think this look came out really, really pretty, and um, I hope you guys love it. So if you guys would like to see this palette, see how I created this look, see the swatches, and hear my thoughts, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm so excited about this palette. This is the box that it comes in. And this is her in all her glory. I have wanted to play with this palette for like a month. And I've, it's been sitting here waiting for me to film. So I'm really excited. I just feel like there's so many looks that we could potentially create with this. And it's all matte. So it's not something I ever do. Like I very, very rarely will do an all matte look. I almost always do matte on the crease, shimmer on the lid. Like that's just my, my thing. So this is going to be fun. Okay, so I really literally had no idea what I was going to do. And then I saw this photo on Pinterest and it's like, a smoky eye it looks like it's all matte like when I zoom in there's light there but it looks like it's just a light shade I haven't done like this tone of like a smoky eye I don't think in a really long long time <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do that so I was just swatching a few colors to try to figure this out. None of these colors, of course, have any names. So that's fun. It's always a good time. Um, I'm going to take this color here. And this is like, this reminds me of like ABH Red Earth. All right, so I am going to press that in to my crease. Oof. Pigmented per use. This look almost looks like it's a halo, which I usually don't do only because I don't feel like it's the most flattering for my eye shape. I feel like more of a cat eye where it's like darker on the outer corner just looks better on my eye shape. Not every look works great for every person so that's just me so I ordered my first pair of Fashion Nova jeans because I wanted to see if the hype was real 
And I don't personally like high-rise jeans. I just don't think that they're super flattering on me. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this orange shade right here as my blending shade. So anyway, you know, I've gained a few pounds and I, you know, I'm, I've mentioned before, like I'm kind of uh, on a little bit of a fitness journey right now, if you will, a little New Year's resolutions. Um, so I didn't love the way they fit. I personally on my body type, mid-rise jeans are the most flattering. High-rise jeans do mean, do nothing for me because I have like wider hips and a small waist. And so high-rise jeans just don't flatter my body. So I usually like a mid-rise, but like the Fashion Nova mid-rise is like a high-rise. So I got them and I was like, I didn't love them. Like once I get to like my goal weight, I might like them. So I'm going to keep them and see, but I don't know. I wasn't like crazy in love, but I did get these earrings and these I loved. These were $4.99, I think. Are they not so cute? I love hoops. I don't know if you guys have noticed I always wear hoops. It's like the only style of earring that I wear like on a daily. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush and I'm just gonna start buffing out the edges of that. All right, so I wanna deepen up the crease a little bit. And oh, I'm using this Luxie Mini Tapered 121 brush. I've been using this for like a month straight. Ever since filming my BoxyCharm video, I'm like addicted, I can't. Um, I'm going to go in with the chocolate brown, I think. I'm going to take this brown right here, I think. I'm going to use that color to deepen up the crease. This brush just gives me so much control. I just, I really, really love it. I'm just going to go in with a blending brush I feel like I lost some of that orange so I'm going to add some more back in because I definitely want that like ombre fade I feel like there are some like plum tones happening so I was thinking what I would do is, I'm going to try this color here. It doesn't translate that plum on camera, but it does look plum. And if it doesn't come out as plum as I want, I'm gonna go into this one, which is more purple. So we'll see how this goes. And I'm going to put this into the outer V first. I'm going to put some in the inner because why not? We'll try it. Oh, that's actually nice for the inner. I think I want to deepen out this one a little bit, but... That color actually, I don't like to go too dark in the inside. There's a little bit of fallout, but not a ton. I'm actually going to try this brown. It's a little warmer than the other one. Still not dark enough. Screw it. I'm going in with the black. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Thank you. Yes, that's what I wanted. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to just blend that out. You want to kind of go nice and easy with black though because black can go sideways real quick. For the lower lash line, I'm going to start out with this chocolate brown and I'm using a pencil brush. Just 
Okay, this is kind of looking like tones I always go to, but it's going to be different, okay? I promise. When I looked at hers, it looked different than what I usually go to, but then it translated to, you know, my use. I think I'm going to take a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone and also just kind of clean up my blend a little bit. Because I took it kind of high. I think I might take a fluffier, like a tapered fluffy. It's like a fluffier pencil brush, I guess. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm just going to buff out the brown on my lower lash line. So it just like adds a little bit of warmth. But like I don't want the lower lash line to be as warm as my crease. Okay, so now for the lid. I am going to take my usual lid brush, which is the Almar Cosmetics. There's no name or number on this brush, but it's just like a flat concealer type of a brush. We'll start here and see where it goes. This shade right here, it's like a pinky mauve. It's like a dusty pink, if you will. Let's see what happens. No concealer. Hmm. I need to take that color that we went in the inner corners and I'm going to just kind of blend it in to the light color so it just sort of fades. I think I went way higher. <laughs> in my crease than she did and it's not as orange in the crease as hers is that's my own interpretation i'm gonna see what happens if i add a little bit more orange okay so i'm gonna pop on some lashes and a lip and i'll be right back um Instead of swatching the whole palette, I just figured I would swatch some of the colors that I used today so you could see them swatched on my arm. These are some of the deeper purple shades that I used. And here is one of the brown shades. They're very pigmented, as you can see, but you definitely can build them up and blend and build and blend and build. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be, like, so pigmented that you can't work with it. Ooh, there is this pink shade in the palette that I don't even know why I didn't notice, but I just want to swatch it just for fun. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. Very pretty. Um, and then I'm going to just swatch some of the lighter colors that I used. The color that I used in the center of my lid is this beautiful dusty mauve. Is that even going to show up on my skin and camera? Not really. Um, but, like, let's check out this white. Look how pigmented this white is. It is, like, the most whitest white color. Look at that pops off my skin like that is white which is nice it's nice to have colors that are like that pigmented i also did not use this shade but i really just want to see that's another one very very pigmented it's a dusty pinky it's like what would you call this like a frosty pink color really pretty anyway as you can see the pigment is definitely there and i just i'm i love it okay guys so this is the finished look for lashes i went in with the kiss blooming 
lash uh, in the style Peony, which I am kind of living. I love these. They are so wispy and fluttery and pretty, but like not too overpowering, I feel like. They're just glam enough, you know? Um, I really like them. That's what I did for lashes. I also went in my waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Alkaline. This is like my favorite color to go in the waterline with if I'm going to do an all dark waterline, which I rarely if ever do. Um, and then for lip, I went in with my Ride or Die Lip Pencil, the L'Oreal Colorish Matte lip pencil and mats in and it's teeny tiny i have to get more it's really that's like on its last leg and then the lip color i went in with was the urban decay uh, vice lipstick in bun bun and this is a comfort matte this was a collaboration with Kristen leanne um so it's i don't think it's available anymore i don't know if it's available anymore but this color i just like it i just thought it went nice with this eye it's kind of on the monochromatic side. As for the eyeshadow look, I actually like the way it came out. I was nervous for a minute there because, like I said, I don't really do all matte looks. It's not my comfort zone. Oh, and I forgot for my inner corner, I actually went in with this white color here. And that's what I used to brighten up my inner corner. I like the way it came out. And, you know, I I know I do a lot of BH Cosmetics palette reviews. But, you guys, I mean, I love the palettes. I say this every time I do a BH palette review. I love them. And um, this one is super unique because it's all mattes. It's super colorful. I love that there's 42 shades in here. 42 shades. Like, that's amazing. And literally, you can go in any direction you really want to. Um, yeah, there's just, there's so many options. So, this might be overwhelming for some people. I don't know. I really like it. I don't tend to love palettes this large, though, for storing purposes. But I really like this one. I think it's really great. I want to play around more with it. Like I said, I've been dying to play with it for quite a while. So I'm excited that I got to create this look. And I really like it. I would definitely go out with this. I I really, really like it a lot, actually. That is it for the video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that I upload. You can follow me on social. My handle's at Glam Latte and the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast. All the details are in the description box down below. Make sure you head over there, subscribe, listen. I have guests on, like big guests. I have had CoverGirl on, I've had Urban Decay on, so you definitely don't want to miss that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.